Thanks again to our musical guest, the remains of Credence Clearwater Revival. And next up, we have Robin Camille. Robin, hello. Welcome to the Mike Diamond Show. Oh, well, thank you, darling. <laughs> yes. Congrats the, on the new show. Thank you. It's season three. Where have you been? Oh, bitch, I don't know. I ain't seen it. Okay. We're all But I'm friends. here today. <laughs> Uh -huh, bitch, what's going on with you? Well, you know, I'm curious about your new project. Uh -huh. I understand it has something to do with the onset of menopause. What's happening? Bitch, no, that's your mama. <laughs> okay, bitch, that ain't, babe. That's your mama, bitch. Okay. However, uh, I don't know if your viewers know, <laughs> the two that are watching, yeah. um, that I'm actually the official advice diva and relationship expert for Playgirl. For Playgirl? Yes, darling. Yes, in addition, you know, I also have my monthly column called Dear Diva in uh, DNA Magazine in mm. Australia. Mm. Yes, Crikey. Honey, honey, yes, you know, bitches be coming to me for the drama. Well, now, before we get into Playgirl, let me ask you about DNA. Uh -huh. That is an Australian publication. Yes, it is. Now, do you find that the questions from Down Under are different in any way from the questions of Up Over? No, honey, it doesn't matter. Down Under, Up Over, On the Roof, or wherever, you know, drama is still the same. Yes. You know, love is still the same. The yes. dynamics in the relationship are still the same. You still yeah. find the same problems yeah. in Australia as you would in the South Bronx, honey. Right. So it's all the same, honey. Do they have more questions about lubrication? It's a very dry climate, I understand. No, baby, no. Everybody's all lubed up over there, honey. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's all lubed up. Have you, know you been down? No, I haven't been down under, honey. Mm. I haven't been down under. But I do plan on going for, for Mardi Gras next year. Yeah, because they be mm -hmm. serving you marsupial. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah they, be, they be cute. Madness. Yeah, they be cute. World of Wonder. Hi, it's Mike Diamond. I'm here for a shoot at 445. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Hi, what's going on? Wait, what? He'll, he'll, be, he'll probably be here like uh, like five to six. Fantastic. And he knows that? Who knows that? The, the kid. He knows? Where to go? Yeah, he knows no, that the Uber no. is picking he him up? Me. He knows the Uber's outside and he was like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. And he has Uber. Okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll be here. Is, is this place always so unprofessional? Like five minutes, isn't it? No. And do you know what else? I insisted okay. in my contract that I have a fruit and cheese platter. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing here. Blake? What kind of fucking production is this? That? Are we ready? All right. Oh, let, 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 let me eat that ass, mountain man. Hey, yum, right, yum, hold yum. Hold on, hold on. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to, okay, I just wanted to focus on you, sorry. Okay, go ahead, do that. Mmm, I'm going to eat that country bumpkin. Mmm, I love me some big old ass. Oh, my God, oh. headlights. I'll tell you what, Brandon. Let's pretend it went a whole different way. Okay. The wife is home, but I don't notice in time. Who is you? Well, you're the wife. Right. Who is you? What are you doing to my husband? Oh, I'm eating his ass, bitch. And if you ate his ass more often, I wouldn't have to be here. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm clamshelling. Thank God I don't have a seafood allergy. Oh. Um, oh. Let's see. Do we do the reenactment before? Like of the hookup itself? Yeah. Okay. Am I him still? Yeah. Okay. Here, uh, actually, uh, Brandon, if you want to stand like next to him, it's like a split yeah, screen. Yeah, so it's like a split screen. Okay, then give me okay. two seconds. Are you prolapsing now? What does that even mean? I'll show you. Send. Here's my address. Be right there. Getting on the bus. Bring in a haystack. See you soon. Don't forget the chewing tobacco. I'll chew your tobacco, all right. Do you party and play? And by that, I mean I've got a Nintendo. Should I bring my Game Boy? Or just bring my Game Boy? Send. Bring whatever you want to bring. See you soon, partner. Okay, y'all. Oh, that's more of a Texas thing, yeah, right? I was like, okay. Ah, the South is the South. Cool. I think we got it. Yay. Yay. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you Brandon. Anytime. You were so easy to... Go with the flow. Thank oh, you. Oh my. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, and then we have your email on here. Correct. Um, sure. I already yep. have your email. So perfect. Great. Awesome. Yeah, I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. And we'll tag you and all that stuff. That's cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Bad dreams. <laughs> No! <laughs>
Uh, now, so for Playgirl, uh -huh. now just to refresh my memory, I'm not that familiar with current periodicals. No, I know you're going through menopause. Well, go ahead, bitch. That, um, are your bones better? Are your uh, bones better? No, no, okay. no, my bones fine, bitch. Now, that is the magazine with nude men? Yes, Okay. Girl. Is it a pube-free zone? Or do they have pubic hair? I understand that the kids today are not into the pubes. No, well, yeah, everybody's shaving, boo. Ain't yeah. nobody got no hair nowhere. Mm. Ain't nobody got shaving. time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that, honey. Mm. People don't like hearing their food. So yeah. what can I say? Yeah, well, you if know? that's what you're eating. L yeah. Listen, honey, listen. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But no, darling, nobody has any. All the models, um, they are all shaved, the wax plucked, and down, baby. They just, and have they, have they come to the light with the fact that they are homosexuals? Come on. Well, and who's reading Play Girl? Well, you know what, darling. You think the large margin librarian is sitting there in Cleveland, Ohio on page 72? <laughs> well, you know what she could be, honey. You know what she could be. But yeah. you know what? Who else gonna fuck that bitch? I okay. know, right? Well, okay, so that's all she can do. Sit up there, gag her legs open and look at that all chunky dick up in yeah. Play Girl. So, but basically, my future. You see what I'm yeah. saying, darling? Mm -hmm. Yes, look for it, boo. Yeah. Now, basically, they do still have a... a, a female audience. Mm. So, you know, uh, in certain areas, particularly in West Bubblefuck, Kansas, you know, the flower of a country, don't mean no harm mm. to nobody mm. in West Bubblefuck, Kansas. Mm. Um, you know, they're not, there's not a gay scene per se. Mm. So, the gay men gravitated to Playgirl because that was their only outlet. You know, you right. couldn't go to the supermarket and, and find, you know, uh, black inches at Walmart. You could find black inches at Walmart. Where? There's this one. Well, not in Kansas, exit Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Bitch. Talking about some other I'm exit. so sorry. I'm okay, bitch, back you it up. Know, I was you like, it's the caucus. Oh, no, no, bitch, it's the caucus, but not, not yeah. in West Bubblefuck, Kansas. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Or okay. Idaho, or Iowa. And so they write to you and they say, Dear Advice Diva. Yeah, Dear Robin, honey. They're coming to Dear Robin. Oh. Now, and with, with the DNA, it's Dear Diva, because the column is called oh, Dear Diva. Diva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, but in, in, with the Pelly Girl, this is Dear Robin, honey. Dear Robin. Uh -huh. Dear Robin, I'm having a problem. Uh -huh. My man refuses to eat lunch here at home, if you okay. know what I'm saying. Okay. Well, what do you tell them? Well, listen, honey, sometimes in life, there is no, there's nothing that you can do to remedy a situation mm. other than kicking the motherfucker to the curb. Oh! It okay. needs to go. It needs to go. Yeah. And sometimes people hang on too long. You can't change people. Uh, you can't uh, make people do something they don't want to do. Mm. If somebody doesn't love you, they're not going to love you. Mm. And mm -hmm. it is what it is. And sometimes you've got to go. Mm. You've got to let things go. And people have a hard time letting things go. They think they can change this and change that and make this better. No, bitch, don't waste your time. Because time, that's one thing you can't get back. Okay. Time is not time. on you your cannot, side. You cannot get your time back. You sit, And I've seen people stay in relationships, you know, eight years, ten years, whatever, and waste their time. Motherfucker find a bitch two weeks and go marry the bitch. You done spend up here spreading your pussy out for ten years and he ain't married your ass. You ain't got no gauge ring. You ain't got shit. Ain't got no property. Ain't got a damn thing. Nothing. Okay? I'm sorry. Can you start over? I wasn't listening. Uh-huh, bitch. You should have been. Bitch, did I tell you what happened to my laptop? What happened? I added this memory chip. To speed it up, to do some editing, I turned it on, the shit wouldn't reboot. I was gasping. I had no fucking laptop. What'd you what do? What was I gonna do? Well, first I cried, then I ate a donut, and then 24 hours later, my friend Chris said, Hey, he texted me, I'm with a fuck buddy, and if you come right now, he can fix your laptop. So, bitch, I got on an Uber, I went, it was down on like, Fairfax and somebody or other boulevard I could give a fuck about. The point was, this guy was gonna fix my laptop. When I got to his house, and when I say house, I mean like a sex dungeon. Totally dark. I walk in, there's a sling in the living room, and I'm like, what? There's Miss Chris in the sling, vacuum pumping his nipple. I said, what? His friend, his fuck buddy friend, is at the computer online ordering a pepperoni pizza for delivery. He's wearing this authentic Air Force flight uniform and he turns around and it's like unbuttoned all the way down to his crotch. And bitch, I saw the base of that fat dick. The shit all was like, what? I see sex toys around, cattle prods, dildos, everything. I make no comment. I do not react to the sexual scenario whatsoever. I'm like, hi, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for helping with my laptop. I know I'm like gagging. And so we go into the other room where the other sling is, and uh, on the way to it, I slip on some lube on the floor, but I don't react. He's there in his flight suit with his big old dick, and uh, he fixes my laptop in like 30 seconds, and he goes, well, what did you do? And I said, well, I think my first mistake was opening it up with a butter knife, but who has a screwdriver? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Anyway, he fixed it, and I was really appreciative, 
I did not comment on the sexual vibe. I was like, oh, well, look at your cat, how cute, what nice furniture. Then this other guy walks in, in business casual attire, after a hard day of work. I assume it's his boyfriend. It was really awkward. He didn't make any eye contact. I was like, hi, I'm Mike, nice to meet you. And he just kind of like grunts and looks around and goes and eats pizza. It turns out that guy is not his boyfriend or his partner. It's his live-in slave. Do you know he makes that guy get up in one of those slings and stay there for 48 hours and he brings home random strangers to fuck this guy and the guy has to take it no matter who it is and he even does these like homeless dude gang bangs where he rounds up homeless guys in downtown LA and gives them $10 to fuck his slave. I was like, listen, thank you very much for fixing my laptop but I've got things to do and I took my stuff and I, and I walked out the door. But I gotta say this. That dick was big, and yes, I was tempted. Bitch, I do like to get glazed. Ah, oh. so I told you I'm going back to New York. Right. To do my new music video. Okay. I think this is the wig I'm gonna rock in the video. Okay. Now, it is boy drags. So, you know, keep in mind, like, I wanna keep my masculine vibe that right. I have. Um, you know, but like pump it for the kids, you know? Serving catfish. Oh, yes, girl. Oh, look what I did. I made a donut hole. First, we're gonna try the wig normal, right? Ooh. What do we think? Be honest. I don't know about that one, girl. What is it? What is it saying to you? What is it saying to you? Is it saying Louise Brooks, or is it saying Louise Jefferson? What'd you Jefferson, say? definitely Louise Jefferson. Jefferson. This is not the look. Very much so. Not the look. What do we think of this feeling? Yes. Yes. Everything. What do we think? You like Work. it? You like uh, it? Yes, I love it. I mean, like, is it giving, like, like, Sia? It's very, like, sticks. Is it, it's very, like, sticks? Yeah. Kitty Cat, what do we think of this look? What do you think of, like, maybe, like, his album art? I think like, he loves cat? it, yes. Ow! Kate Bush. That bit, bit me. Are we feeling like it's very, like, early MTV? It's very 1980s. Very 1980s? Cocaine. Okay, I wish I was alive during that period. <laughs> so young. I was young. too late. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's also giving like a little, um, it's giving like a little, like, black astroturf action. I love it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's very now. Here. Very now. Yeah. Very now. Like, it's so now, it's like tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. Now, do you think that people would, like, believe it was my real hair? It's a little thirsty for that. Thirsty? Is it giving, like, asymmetrical Janet Jackson? You're giving some Janet Jackson. Used to be the time when you would pamper me. I don't know. I... Is it too crazy? No, it works. It's just crazy enough. It's crazy enough. Yeah. I love it. Is this giving you like special education and like molested by like a resource room teacher? Like short school bus? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Decision is made. I'm ready to go back to New York. Miss Booby. Yeah. Girl, I'm gasping. Why? I'm you know, do my little music video thing today. Yeah. I woke up late. I'm setting all this shit up by myself. Not a bitch around to help me. And I hurt my back last night, girl. Oh, no. I'm going to tell everybody it was from riding a bike, but really it was because I hate fuck somebody, but I hate fuck them a little too hard. I must have really hated them. Yeah, girl. <laughs> oh, that's shady. But none of these, oh, none of these hoes could be here to help me. I'm like, what? No, for real. Nobody's here to, like, help my dream come true after everything oh. I've done for everybody else. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I bitch, I got drag queens and vogers and shit coming in and out all day. Of course, one of them canceled, and another one is missing in action, and her Facebook account was closed. Oh, no. That's what I get for dealing with ghetto children. I mean, you would you would think that they would just be pleased to be in a production for me with no money. A music video and shit. Mm. I'm sorry, mama. Mm, I'm sorry too, and it hasn't even started. Fucking Mike Diamond, man. Like, you know, 
I'm here to um, these chintzy ass studios. For what? Get your hair pressed? What is that? She's a weirdo. Yes, girl, spin, spin, mama. Spin, you African muffin, spin. Work, girl. Yes, girl, give me ostrich. You have a cloaca. Do it, girl. Yes. yes. You the white Grace Jones, and you not even white. Serve it, bitch, serve it. You're a waitress at Bennigan's. Serve it. Are breadsticks extra? Serve it. Occupado. Jesus Christ. You know, put your face on in a Chinese restaurant bathroom, then you get a little privacy. Occupado. Now, my secret trick. No nonsense, comfortable, reinforced panties. Perfect. Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, if I wasn't bald before, I'm gonna be now. Shit. All right. Like a baby. Somebody's in here making magic. I gotta work with what I have, and I've gotta keep it classy, and also be true to myself, because goddammit, it's show business, and I gotta man up. Yes? Yes? There's somebody in here speaking to you right now. I'll be out when I'm done. God, some people are just fucking nuts. You should have got them titties, girl. Them titties, girl. You should have got them titties, girl. The, 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 those titties, girl. With the wind, I like the wind. It's working me, it's working me. The wind is working me. It's working me, honey. That wind is working me, girl. It's working it out, mama. That's a wrap. A spin, do some spins. Yes. <laughs> you know how they say when you get stung by a jellyfish, you're supposed to um, have people pee on you, like to get rid of the stinging? Honey, I knew this one queen that was so into water sports. He would go to the beach and come out of the water and pretend that he got stung by a jellyfish just to have hot guys pee on him. Could you gag? But how you doing, honey? Yeah. Oh, listen, I'd love to talk about that, but I really got to work on this footage. Can I call you later? Yeah. Okay. Ciao, bacalao. Oh, so you were doing a little bit of a show, too. You were like, you were like, oh, like you were giving him a little bit of a show. I mean, I was into it. I was into it. It was, it was whatever. No shame. No shame. No, no tea. No shade. Uh, yeah. And but so, you know. Yeah. It's, but it was. It was a great time. It was. Um, and it was a great time. Because there's a psychological yeah, aspect. Yeah. Like you're you're putting yourself in a vulnerable position. A I have psychological I, aspect. I have a aspect. I have a lack of respect for people that like will will you know just do that. But you know. But you had fun. It was I had a fun. blast. I kind of go, you know what, I, I've never been to a bear convention, I've never been to IML. There's a big fisting convention that happens in uh, uh, San Francisco as well. Yeah, Sounds it's punchy. like a big fisting thing. I've never done any of that. I've got to do that. You should. You know, you got to get your fingers in the pie, that. girl. All right, so listen, here's a setup. We're walking, we're talking, it's a lovely day, or perhaps a rancid evening. I don't know. I was the victim of a violent sexual assault. Hmm. On yourself? He made eye contact. Oh! Girl, I was the victim of a violent sexual assault. What? He kept the lights on. Oh! Girl, I was the victim of a violent sexual assault. What? He found out my real age. Ooh! Anyway, girl, how you doing? I'm good, girl, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a good girl. You alright? Yeah, I'm good at being bad. You feeling okay, Rihanna? That's what I'm doing. Yeah? I'm just going to work, 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 work. I hate oh. that song. Yeah, I'm not, not crazy about her. Yeah. But you know, the kids like her. The kids do like and her. And you have to appeal to the youth demographic. But do the kids still like her? I'm not sure. I actually. don't know any kids, so I wouldn't I'm not sure. Know. I think the kids like Ariana Grande. Or is that a, a coffee you buy at Starbucks? I don't know, girl. A little burnt and tasteless. Girl, I'd like a, I, I'd like a 
Ariana Grande latte with a shot of espresso. But you know, girl, speaking of the youth market, mm. I think I'm going to get into the hip and the hop, as the kids say. Oh, I thought you didn't celebrate Easter, girl. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a track called Gum Bumping, which you know means gossiping. Ah, that's what you good at, girl. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Would you really like to hear it? No, oh, I'm here. Okay, well, here it goes. Oh, excuse me. I hate to litter in nature. Oh! Oh, girl. Bitches wanna be gum bumping all the time. Talking so much shit about to lose my mind. They're trying to read a bitch and make a hoe feel low. But I'm unbothered and I'm good to go. What? Mm. Do you like it? Thank God we're friends. Do you think the kids will get into it? I highly doubt it, but let's give it a shot. Oh, you know, Mama. You just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. Speaking of my last date. Did you know I almost got married? Oh. Um, recently, he didn't know it. Oh, okay. But <clears throat> I had met this man. Okay. I was in Hawaii, as I oh. do oh. every year during the holidays. Oh, okay. And I met this man. I'm not going to say how. It was an online app. Oh, and, mm -hmm. um, okay. Let me let you know that I gagged. Okay. I gagged. Bitch, you was gagging. I was gagging. Ooh, gag. He pulled up in that car, girl. Okay, what happened? And I was like, this must be a joke. Because he was, first of all, so much bigger in reality. Okay. Six foot five, muscles, big lantern jaw, full head to toe military camouflage drag. So he mm. was so hot. And I'm like, this guy's going to take about 10 seconds to figure out how to get me out of his car. Okay, and kick your ass out. And kick my ass out with Ooh. his six foot five, muscly ginger military realness. Oh. Get out of my dreams. But girl, get out of my car. We took off down the Kanani Ali Oli Highway. So we're going down the highway, and he reaches behind his back in the car. I said, oh, shit, he going to pull out a gun, girl. And then he just, like, hit you in the back of the head. No, it was a bottle of water. Oh, I was so disappointed. But so we're on the highway and I figure, okay, well, this is happening because I'm still in the car. And I'm like positioning my head so that, you know, to keep the sun from bouncing off my bald spot. Mm-hmm. And keep talking about, keep my chins up, keep my chins up. And keep my eyes wide so that I look young, but not so wide that I look crazy. Yes, yes, I've seen you try and do that. You mostly just look crazy. Girl, girl, he turned me out so lovely. I don't want to be too graphic because that's not my way. But let's just say, mm. that motherfucker came so much of me, he bruised my kidneys. What? I know. Get I was gasping. And I'm what? like, and I was looking around the room. Uh -huh. And he had like all this Christian literature. And that's fine. You know. Well, he, praise him. He was about, I was praising him. Okay. I let him do me raw. No, girl. There will be blood. I be playing that, girl. Honey, there was cunty for old men. <laughs> girl. I do appreciate that, though. Miss Thing, remember that guy that I had sex with in Hawaii, the big hot military dude? Yes. Do you know what the most fucked up thing about it was? Not only was he with the military, he was a military veterinarian. And after we had sex, he put his fingers in my mouth to check my teeth like I was a piece of cattle. Oh. And he was like, when did you have your molar out? I'm going, it was so weird. Girl, I had them Jesus babies in me, and I tried to keep them in me for so long. Girl, he did damage to you. He did damage to me, girl. I kind of remember you calling me from Hawaii, kind of delirious. Like, <laughs> I thought this bitch just probably had some toad, and she bitch. just lied and lying to me. Stuttering, filled up with his Christ almighty come, girl. It was so good. He was so hot. I was so proud to have bruised organs and Jesus babies up in me, and... Oh, the tattered remains of my soul. I loved it. I did my part to support the troops, girl. Miss Thing, he could have been shipped off to war at any moment. I mean, <sighs> wartime America, girl. Oof, girl, it was like Pearl Harbor all over again. That's, that's right, bitch, that's right. Because I was left devastated, a smoking crater of a volcano. <laughs> so the second time we got together, I happened to have this GHB with me. You know how one does. Uh, how one does occasionally have some DHB on them. So I dose him. All six foot five of military muscle in him. And then I dose myself. And I get fucked up right away and let him bang me and injure my organs and everything again and fill yeah. me up with his Jesus babies. Well, goodness. But it took him much longer to feel the effects of the drug because he was so large. Yes. I didn't realize that. Uh-uh, bitch, stop. And, Drug that hoe. Ooh. And during the night, we were spooning. Uh-huh. And he had his big, meaty arm across my neck. Uh-huh. And he was knocked out cold from the GHB. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, I'm wide awake, because you can't touch this. Okay, wow. Girl. Uh-huh. He started peeing in his sleeve. Uh-uh, the bitch needs to pin. Well. Peeing all over my back. Did the motherfucker shit, too? Damn. <laughs> I hope not. Ooh, 
chair. Girl, he peed all up. He peed so much, uh -huh. it went up my back and started pooling in my clavicle. Uh -uh. What could I do but lay there and take it? Oh, bitch, in the golden showers. I had Jesus babies in me. And golden showers upon and me. And golden showers upon well, me. Where was my tambourine, yo? Aloha. Oh, damn. But I wanted to marry him. I, I bet you did. I could have been like Miss Saigon and shit. Yes, Miss Pissy Saigon. That's right, well, girl. That's what ah, I'm trying to say. Yes, too. This is Mike Diamond with my special guest, Robin Camille. Yes. Here on the Mike Diamond Show. Okay. And coming up, we have the surviving members of TLC. Don't go away. You and I. Okay. Okay. Um, I think this one needs to back up because we're like, our head's going to get cut off, right? This one? This that one. one? No, that one's good. That's okay, right? It's good. All right, so we're riding along. But shouldn't, shouldn't you have your hands no, on No, we're the in the wheel? back seat. Oh, we're in the back seat. Okay. Boy, I love these oversized Uber cars. So Hummer. where are we going, y'all? <laughs> Hillside Campground, girl. I uh, love me some Hillside Campground. Yes. I need some citronella. Girl. And some HIV meds. I'm going to get me a sugar tryst. You know what that is. What's a sugar tryst? Girls, when you have good sex, but the dude still pays you. What? No. So what is a multi-talented, out-of-work celebritant like myself to do? I really, I'm at, I'm at wit's end. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You had a couple of ideas here and there, but you, but you over the last couple of Here and there, months. thanks. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but you were looking to do some like hip hop, weren't you? I was. I definitely want to appeal to what you know the young people are listening mm -hmm. to on Spotify yeah. or the lesbians on Twatify. Uh -huh. You were into that song "Pussy," though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's on. It was on YouTube. I found it recently. Do you want to? You know what? Can we take a peek at that? Yeah. Uh, now this is a song called "Pussy." Yeah. It's by by that bitch lady. lady. Yeah. Let's yes. take a look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tight pussy, right pussy, fuck me all night, pussy, make you leave your wife. Cause this what you like, pussy Lock down on your pipe, pussy Ride you like a bike, pussy It do whatever you ask it to Night, oh. pussy Oh my god, she is foul mm -hmm. She's disgusting, I can do this mm -hmm. So, maybe like a parody of this Yeah Okay, let you me can see. Come up with something. What, what, what do you got? I got that player pussy. That princess layer pussy. Gonna shave it bald cause you like that no hair pussy. Stench pussy, French pussy, Dame Judy Dench pussy, bring your tool kit and work me with a wrench pussy. No fail pussy, jail pussy, bumpy like braille pussy, stinky and covered in flies, beach whale pussy. I got that crazy pussy, Cagney and Lacey pussy, homicidal killer clown John Wayne Gacy pussy. I got that wide pussy, that astro glide pussy, when I got the herpes yo you know a bitch cried pussy. White pussy, tight pussy, make you fly a kite pussy, pussy so old that they call it Betty White pussy. Yeah, it's on. It's so on. And then this motherfucker wants to narrate the entire time I'm having sex with him. Like, I don't need a voiceover, okay? How about desperately seeking silence? Can we get into that fantasy? And not only is he like narrating every little thing that happens, he wants me to play along. Bitch, I don't talk. No. This shit like this is giving me a drinking problem. No, bitch, maple syrup. Mmm. Crystallized. It's showtime, folks. <laughs> Get the fuck off the train! Get the fuck off! Or I'll beat the shit out of you! You get off this train with that freaky shit! Get up! Get the fuck up! You got the right one, honey, cause I'm a crazy bitch! Get the fuck off this train! When this train stops, you get the fuck off! Do you understand me? I can't hear you! Say I understand you, miss!
So apparently the thing now is people giving their baby gender neutral names like Hayden or Jaden or fuckface or whatever. What? Did I tell you I had this really weird dream about Hedda Lettuce? Yeah. What? She wasn't even wearing her green wig. It was very strange. So tell me something, Red. What's your secret? How have you been in the business low these many decades? You really asking me the question? Yeah. Are you really willing to hear the answer? Yeah. Because you've asked me this question many times, but you've never been ready to hear the answer. It's important when you ask a question, are you ready to hear the answer? Many people ask questions, but they're not ready to hear the answer. So I'm asking you right now, Michael, are you ready to hear the answer? 98%? then I'm not going to listen to the question. A hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent. You're a liar. And until you get a hundred percent willing to listen to the answer, I say you have no chance in any business. Now, I was thinking about maybe pitching some reality shows. Okay, hit me with me. Hit the okay. Come on, I'm ready. You've heard of Desperate Housewives. No. You've heard of Devious Maids. Never. How about ambivalent hookers? What do you think? You know what? In 1994, I was an ambivalent hooker. I've never made so much money in my entire life. Men love ambivalence. I say yes on that one. All right. So yes. Yeah, so so there's an audience there. Men love ambivalence. The less the more the less you give them, the more they want. What if I did yeah. Yeah. a new character? Okay, I, I'm I'm gelling with this guy. A Jedi Knight who walks the ballroom scene, and his name is Obi. You don't want it, Kenobi. Too ethnic? Uh, no, just not funny enough. Oh, oh. Obi, you don't want to know me. Kenobi? Well, well, Obi, you don't want it, Kenobi. Like, you know how oh, the... Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know how... Obi, you don't want it, Kenobi. Yeah. Obi, you don't want it, Kenobi. Yeah. Obi, don't want it, Kenobi. Yeah. Like, you know how, like, the ethnics are always threatening people at dance clubs? Oh, ethnics. Yeah. I have a story about ethnics. It was in 1994 when I was an ambivalent hooker, and I slept with this ethnic. That's the story. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, listen, you're, you're somewhat of a comedian. Let me um, run some jokes by being. you and hey, hey, tell hey, you what jokes. Come on. <clears throat> Go. Mind you, these are just being workshop. I, I, I no, okay. I'm not here to judge. You know what it's like. I'm okay. just here to listen. Okay. <clears throat> Did I tell you I met a stutterer with three balls? E.T., the extra to testicle. Last night, I met a hooker who only does scat dates. She calls herself Sister Sludge. I was going to go to a meeting of the Optimism Club, but... I didn't think anyone else would show up. You know, they say good things come in threes. Yeah. Not so. Oh. Oh. Um. I mean, the joke started out horrible, and then it went to dismal, yeah. and then it went to miserable. Oh. Uh, I so mean, you're supposed to build up, not go down. So keep working on it. No. No. Stop working. Okay, let me run one more joke by you. Sure. I was artificially inseminated once. He pulled out and came all over my back. I don't even get it. Mama, bottom line it for me. Showbiz yes, showbiz no. What should I do? Where should I go? I don't think it's up to me to say that. I think you need to get down on your knees tonight and pray and say, God, what should I do with my career? I'm only a human being. You have to turn to the bigger man, the bigger picture up there and say, God, I'm at a crossroads. Should I stay in show business or should I leave show business? Should I go off to the suburbs and meet a man and live in a white picket fence with a little house and have some children? Even though my uterus fell out seven to ten years ago, I can't get the time to mind straight. So ask God, Michael, and all your questions can be answered through God. All of them. Mm. Would you like to ask God a question now? I can answer for him. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go to Grace Papaya no, I really can answer for and God. get a couple of... I mean, no, I really they got like two God. dogs and I a... I have a connection with God. Don't like you want to Like a mango shake for like four ninety nine. Do don't you ask God any questions. All right. Uh, oh, sweet Molly Magoo. <sighs> Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the musical stylings of Taylor Dane. That was great, Taylor. Thank you. My next guest is a comedian and hand model. Please welcome Mike Diamond. Hello, Mike. It's a pleasure to be here. An absolute pleasure. Mike, tell me about running into your arch nemesis <laughs> backstage at the Academy Awards. She wouldn't even make eye contact. She acted as if I wasn't even there. Do you know what that is? Reverse respect. Are you willing to talk about your drunk driving arrest in Eugene, Oregon? I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. 
A Cadillac Eldorado is a very large car. I was merely reaching into the glove compartment to get a little box of mints, and the car swerved. Uh -huh. I wasn't drunk. Mike, how have you been dealing with the failure of your miniseries, The Popcorn Diaries? As well as your flop project, Almost Famous. I can't be held responsible for Millennial's short attention span. The total lack of interest in your Don't Get Pressed music video. <laughs> How do you respond to critics who say that you're a hack who peaked long before you even started? My favorite quote is from Hollywood legend Jane Russell. She said, fuck the audience. Oh. My fan. A metaphor? Hey girl. Shadiamon. Mama, what you doing? I'm reading Scoundrel Town. Lillian Hellman. You know how she turned into Quentin Crisp at the end? Well, I think she was very stressed out from starting that mayonnaise empire. She turned into a cigarette. Anyway, girl, I, I spent the last hour or so thinking what a terrible, horrible human being I've been. Just the last hour? And my way of giving back as a human being has always been to entertain. So, I wanted to run some ideas by you. Tell me what you think, okay? What if I were a drag character named Angiogram? An Irish nurse that works in a cardiac unit. How exciting. What if I pitched a reality show about pregnant teens considering abortion, and it's called Say Maybe to the Baby? You're an ethnic, and you have terrible eating habits. What if I did a song called Sexual Diabetes? Sounds like a hit to me. Sexual diabetes. I got the sugar. Brown sugar. Hot, hot sugar. Sweet. Uh-huh. Girl, are you listening to me? I'm sorry, what? Mama, are you paying attention? I feel like you're zoning me out. You have my full attention. Hello? Hello? Don't look back here. Don't look at us. Don't Driver. talk. Driver, please pay attention to the road. Get off your phone. Oh. Driver, please, precious cargo back here. Mira, don't you be driving like that, loca. Can you hook up my playlist? You guys, yes. um, did I tell you I'm, I'm working on a book? But I, I, I've i narrowed it down to two titles, and I want your opinion, seriously, about which you think is better. Um, I'm okay, you're not so hot. Or, you're okay, I've got a mild headache. Mm. I, liked, I liked the name of your first book, Between a Rock and a Hard Face. <laughs> <laughs> it's the story of your life. Well, you know, I'm all about reading. Yes. Careful. So then let's talk about reading. Careful. Careful. Oh, look at you backing up as I almost touch your nose. <laughs> <laughs> you touch my, listen, I just had this thing done. Oh! oh driver, oh, please! Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Ah. Would you drive a little bit more careful, Honey, Mr. Uber? I'll send you back to Guyana. Okay. So, you got to be kidding me. Ah! So, I'm on the elevator and this old guy gets on with one of those um, electric wheelchairs. And it's like Jamaican caretaker lady. And uh, I just look at him and I'm like, oh my God, I totally want one of those. I fucking hate walking. And they look at me like with daggers. And I just realized, wow, that was a really crass thing to say. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm becoming very, very harsh. Bad dreams. Girl, did I tell you that uh, I dropped Angie? She's not my agent anymore. Really? Got rid of the bitch. Got rid of her. Why? Well, she couldn't even get me a read for the musical reboot of Charles in Charge, so... Oh, yeah. Charles in Charge. Yeah. You would have been perfect for that. I know. Uh, 20 but, uh, years ago, but... Um, I've signed with, uh -huh. wait for it, Shippy Shipwright. Shippy Shipwright. Of ICM, ICM, MMMA. ICM, Yes. She's already got me an audition for a musical. Don't say. On Broadway. For Broadway? 
Not to toot my own horn, uh -huh. but uh, I'm ready to nail it, girl. Yes. Nail it to the wall, mama. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. How old is the central character? Thank you so much for having me in today. I so appreciate the opportunity. I'm doing this acapella, so bear with me. <clears throat> Sketchy faggots, masturbating, drinking vodka, gasping. Sketchy faggots, tweaking lightly. Sketchy faggots, sketchy faggots. Blowing on a stranger, or lip syncing to share. Even when they read, you know they care. Aid scare. Thank you. Do I get the part? What's You're a friend? liar! Bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you have no chance in any business. Driver, slow down. Oh my god, slow down. Driver, you just slow down a little bit. Oh slow down. Wanna be gum bumping all the time Talking so much shit about to lose my mind They're trying to be a bitch and make a hoe feel low But I'm unbubbled and I'm good to go What? So I spent the whole hour just thinking what a horrible, horrible person I've been Just the one hour? Let's do it one more time and just come in a little bit quicker. You can drink the cheese if you want yeah. to. <laughs>